So I was reading my comments and I read a comment that said, could you make a video tutorial of making smooth movements on 3D? Um, yes. So my last video that I posted was pretty short and straightforward, but I got some comments of people saying where yapping one was at and that y'all missed me? Question mark. I personally stopped yapping because I felt like people just wanted to learn after face like i guess i feel like y'all were just here just because of the tutorials but i guess y'all kind of like me Boy. do y'all did y'all miss me no okay <laughs> anyways in this video we'll be teaching you how to do smooth movements with 3d camera or technically anything else but uh, just smooth movements in general okay so for this example i added some text to basically spread out and we're gonna move through each one in a smooth manner let me add a camera um i usually go with like a it depends honestly what you want if you want a wider view go with a smaller millimeter if you want like a i guess like a straighter view that makes sense go with two and if you don't know then go to go to 50 it's usually like the standard i guess but i'm gonna go with like a um, 24 i mean 28 we're gonna go to layer again new and we're gonna make a null object once we have that we're gonna grab all these text layers and we're gonna turn them into 3d and also turn the null object into a 3d and then select the camera get this little whip and attach it to the null well we should have spread out the text before but basically i'm just gonna grab them like this and put them out into 3d space today's video is sponsored by DeepMake. Generative AI has been very popular in the past few years and is becoming more powerful in creating and editing content. And now DeepMate brings the latest generative AI features to After Effects. Some key features that DeepMate brings are text to image generator, image to image generator, image and video upscaling, and smart automatic masking for faces or objects in videos and images. All these features can easily be accessible in one place using DeepMate plugin. Download DeepMate today at DeepMate.com and revolutionize your editing process. I'm actually going to go to Active Camera and choose Custom View 1 just so I can see what I'm doing. And this is basically what it looks like. So now we're going to go back to Active Camera. So obviously this is not what your timeline is going to look like, but this is just an example. We can get to animating or whatever. So I'm just going to place this like in the middle. Um, I'm going to use proportional grid so you can select this proportional grid so you can see uh, if it's centered or not. So it's right there. Okay. Now we're going to get started. Go whatever you want to start your keyframe and make a keyframe basically. So this is position. And then we're going to press R and basically select the keyframe for all of these because the next word is a little bit rotated and I want to match the rotation basically. So now we're going to go forward a little bit and then now we're going to go to the next word, which is um, and over here. And obviously you probably have something different, but this is basically just an example. So go here and actually go like that. something like this we don't actually need easy rotation right now okay so now if you play this as you can see it's pretty like stiff i guess take this in mind the more space in between your keyframes the smoother it is but the slower so you kind of want to be in between basically so i'm going to make it about like this and now it's about just the actual graph now this isn't a graph tutorial. If you want a graph tutorial, let me know in the comments though. Basically go to X rotation and you would have to easy ease. So keep from resistant, easy ease, which is F9. And then you're gonna go to graph and then basically do this graph right here. And basically do it to all these keyframes. So for example, with this flow, I could just go like this and apply it and it basically did it to all of them. But on After Effects, you can't do that. You have to do everything manually basically now a trick for position let me show you so if you try and do the same thing um if you're trying to easy ease it and go to graphs you can't move these graphs um now you can obviously use a speed graph and do this but for some reason i never like the speed graph so uh yeah don't use that let's go back to value graph but a little i guess hack that you can do is go to position right click and then go to separate dimensions and then you should be able to move it and basically just move it like this like that 
like this like this and then this one should be let me see should be something like this basically and then if you play it now it's pretty smooth as you can see it goes from slow fast and then back to slow now this is the part where you guys need to start paying attention because this is the sauce right here so some of y'all have those choppy edits basically what y'all do is just go over here and basically start switching it to the next letter basically right no don't do that we're gonna go to layer new and make another null object you're gonna make this a 3d object and then grab this little whip and attach it to the first null, which these nulls say different names actually and basically what we're going to be doing is having a bunch of null layers so we can do smooth animations okay so now we're going to go to the first null press u and these are the keyframes right um now we're going to start some other keyframes for the second movement basically and basically you want to start around the middle-ish to the end but never over here or right here why because right here is basically starting right and it's already ending around right here so then you want the next one to start around right here already so you get that clean transition to the next movement basically also i noticed that this thing is not moving and it's because i parented the, the wrong null so basically you want to parent the first null to the second one because you want the second one to control the first one basically so now you're going to move on to the second word which is subscribe in this case and you want to basically align it as best as you can I'm going to use rotation and it should be something like this. Now, if you press U, these are all your keyframes and then you want to do the same thing with the graph that I told you, but in this case, I'm just going to be using flow. So I just apply it. So now you get this smooth animation, as you can see, what makes smooth movements? This is my definition or answer, I guess. Having a transition or animation that has no stop in between. So it's constantly moving basically is what I'm saying. So what the nose is allowing us to do is overlap the second animation on top of the first one. So there's no stop in between. So for example, in these videos, if you slow it down, you'll actually see that there's no actual complete stop at any point. And that's what makes it smooth basically. Okay, now moving on to this, we're going to keep on doing the same thing basically. So create a null object. Make it a 3d layer grab the null from the bottom and put it onto the third one and then basically do the same thing so you will start right here press p press r press u to see all of them you're going to go to the beginning bring this over here and then go to the next word which should be over here now, once you start adding more layers, you'll start seeing that these rotations are not like, they're not accurate. And it's because you're basically controlling the last null. And if you already changed the rotation of it, then it's kind of like weird. I don't know how to explain it. Like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, then you don't. Now with this, we're going to add the graph and it looks like this. So let me do the last one now. Now, something I would suggest doing is turning on motion blur. Do not forget motion blur. It'll literally make it look much smoother. But yeah, I'm basically just gonna um let y'all know what's been going on with my life um since y'all missed yapping one. We do not care. So um basically, I just been chilling. I haven't been doing like crazy stuff. Um, I got my dream car. Um, two of them actually. If you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm really trying to hit that 100k by the end of the year. Hopefully, if I post enough. But um, yeah. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Deuces. I'm king of the hell, I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I cut them off like Bill Yeah, just like that um...